Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to have a look at how to stream with a Nintendo Switch or how to just screen capture it. This will also work for all kind of other interactive HDMI devices like cameras. So for this one, you'll need a switch, the docking station, the power supply, a capture card of your choice. We're going to use the Elgato Camlink 4K and an HDMI cable. Hook up the switch and then plug the HDMI into the capture card. In order to capture the output of the switch, we are going to start OBS Studio and we're going to add a video capture device. We're going to name it so we can remember what it is. And then we can choose between a couple of devices. If you have a webcam attached, it will show up in the list, but we're going for the Camlink 4K. And we can see the output of the switch. Depending on your capture card, it might not be able to record in 1080p or your USB bandwidth might be limited or you just want a lower input resolution. To change that, you can go to TV output on the switch and change the TV resolution from 1080p to 720p. You might have some temporary glitches, but usually your capture card and your switch will recover from them. If you're planning to play on your PC monitor or if you're planning to stream it, you probably want to use one of the source projectors and you can project the output of an input device to one of your screens. Right click on your media source, in this case the cam link, and pick full screen projector. At this point, you should not be able to hear the output of your input device. So you need to right click on the audio source, pick advanced audio settings, select the right source and switch it to monitor and output. One of the issues we had while streaming was that we only got a freeze frame from the switch. So in order to fix that, we tried some different USB ports and then we also got a tip from the internet that said, go into the control panel, into your power settings, and then you can find the way to disable the selective USB suspending, which means you will have more power available on your USB devices. Also make sure that your capture card is plugged into a USB 3 port. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Let us know if it helped you out, if you liked it, and what you're capturing on your capture card right now. We would love to hear what you're working on. Also, if you enjoy watching either photo or video editing or some uh, video games on Twitch, our links are in the description below.